Welcome back to the stream. I'm Brad Edwards. We appreciate you being with us. Picture this. Get home from a long day of work. You swung through the drive through. You're just trying to live moss. But when you take a bite of that crunch wrap supreme that you've you've grown to know and love, you're greeted by this. A half filled tortilla that could hardly pass as a, a, a crunch wrap mild. Well, that's a twisted reality for one Frank Saragusa from New York, and he's now suing Taco Bell for false advertising. Here to talk about it, talk about it, it is one of our many puns today, uh, attorney Anthony Russo Jr. out of New York. Mr. Russo, thank you for joining us. How are you? I'm doing well. First of all, I will admit I am a uh, a Taco Bell fan. I have been a Taco Bell consumer since my days as an impoverished uh, college student. Um, but it's fascinating. You filed this lawsuit, I don't know how many hours ago, a couple of days, and, and it's now international, internationally known. It's everywhere. Why do you think lawsuits like this resonate with so many people? Um, you're dealing with, uh, you know, um, large large nation nation worldwide corporation that has you know reaches all over the world one thing i will say is you know as as i've said i eat taco bell you know i go there for the food not the plating um so some might say yeah the food always looks better on tv but is it is it more than that to you um this is this premise of, of false advertising i mean because if you look at what they're selling what Mr. Siragusa got, I mean, it'd be like you're showing up to the dealership for a 2023 Chevrolet and you're getting an 83 Chevette. That's exactly the point. Um, you know, a lot of critics will say, hey, this is very minor. This is frivolous with all the kind of things that are going on in the world. But really, it's a symptom of a much bigger problem. If you let it occur at this particular level and juncture, what's going to happen is, like you said, does it go into car dealerships, does it go into homes, does it go into whatever it is, it's it's gonna get bigger and worse kind of a problem. This is a this is a consumer issue that needs to be addressed. Yeah, it truly is. I mean it would be like if we as a news station with FCC airwaves, mandated airwaves, promise you important weather coverage, tornado warning stuff that is critical to your safety and family's well-being, and then a tornado comes by and we don't even show up. So uh, one can totally agree with your point on that. And this isn't your first so foray into the world of fast food lawsuits. You've also taken behemoths like McDonald's, Chicago's own, Burger King to court. Um, are those payouts public? And, you know, how did you get into this niche of kind of a truth and advertising evangelist, if you will? Well, they will become public when and if those those lawsuits are successful. Um, for us, it's really, we, we're consumer advocates and that's what we do as trial attorneys. I've done it my whole career for 30 years now and we fight the fight for consumers. And this to me is the ultimate uh, epitome of consumer advocate issue. And we appreciate those who fight the fight. So for real, you're telling me one minute, Frank Saragusa is honked off by his inferior crunch wrap, and the next minute, you're making international headlines with a class action lawsuit. Is that really kind of how the, the process worked here? You know the news better than I do. Some things grow legs, some things don't. Uh, yeah. I, I'm the last person to guess what's going to work and what's not. Um, but I mean, but that's what happened here, right? Sarah Goose is honked off at his crunch rap. He calls you guys, you file it, bada boom, bada bing, world news. Now you don't, you, 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 the last element, you don't know if it's gonna make world news, but it, it really legit started out with a guy displeased with the look of his crunch rap, and it was a very displeasing looking crunch rap. It's definitely gotten a lot of attention. Uh, it's kept us pretty busy in the last 24 hours, and we're just thrilled that it's getting the kind of exposure that it needs to get for this kind of mission. Yeah, because I mean, we've talked about this before, and you bring up the bigger issues here, the, the, the kind of, uh, we've got a micro issue here, and there's kind of, uh, there's a consistency at the, at the kind of uh, flawed advertising at the, at the fast food level, but then if you go to the macro issue of what, what are we promising and what are we actually delivering. So let's go opposite end of the spectrum. 
since you have some expertise in this area, what advertised food item, fast food, by your estimation and your experience, is most like its advertised representation? That's a good question. I've seen quite a few. I know fast food happens to be some of the you know most egregious you know disparities in what we see. Um, well, I'm I, saying I the opposite end. What actually looks like it, or it's advertised as one thing and it looks like it. You got one of those know. for me? I don't know. I'd have to guess. I'd have to guess at that one. Yeah. All right. I'm going maybe the McDonald's fry. Uh, we appreciate you, attorney. Attorney Anthony Russo, Jr., out of New York. We appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us on the stream here at CBS News Chicago, and uh, we'll surely keep apprised of the suit as it moves forward. Thank you very much.